Oh yeah, so I'm watching Star Wars Celebration live and let's watch the trailer live drop. Get <laughs> my reaction. Let's go guys. We've passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. Generation has a legend though. Throw back. <laughs> right there. Oh my god. We, so maybe Luke, Yoda, and everyone else has been teaching her at Daisy as well. Um, right. music from uh, Force Awakens teaser. Oh, okay, so he is fixing his helmet like that, yeah. Billy D. Lando, one of my favorites. Yes! They actually did it! The Rise of Skywalker! Oh, it's better than Knights of Ren and the other rumored ones. The Rise of Skywalker! That is the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 9, and yeah, it had some good, it had some bad. I don't get why BB 8 has a new friend. The ship you know, kept some continuity with the Resistance TV show, which has him get a new friend and maybe actually show some collaboration between creators for Star Wars. But, you know, we get what we get. Billy D. Williams is back, and really that's just because fans hated how they treated the previous legacy characters. But you know what? He's in the Falcon. He's doing it. Ian McDermott! Yeah, buddy! He's back as the Emperor! Oh, yes! Oh my god. Will there finally be a continuation, a good continuation, of the Skywalker saga? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Rise of the Skywalker. Roll it again, he says! Oh my god. You know what? Yeah, watch it again. Let's see anything I didn't notice the first time. Just rewatch it, rewatch it. It's gonna be two time viewing right here on this video itself, in this video itself. Because it really does seem. I find this weird scene where Ray's jumping over the silence. It looks cool, doesn't really make much sense. You know, it'd be probably better if she was using force speed, you know, in that scene itself. Um, but. You know, I don't know the context of it. I don't know why she's just standing there watching. She's fixed the lightsaber at least, which is cool. I'm not even properly showing her, okay. But they're doing it in the same style as The Force Awakens, so they're really relying on that nostalgia factor there that got the hype for The Force Awakens to get the hype for this movie again itself. And really, if it wasn't for Ian McDermott, it'd be a little down. She makes this pose like he. What? This this might not even be real, to be honest. It doesn't really seem real. Because one, he would have blasters as well. So you know, you blast her. Maybe it's a mental test she's doing, preparing for the battle. Who knows? Every possible outcome. Rather than killing people, school. 
right now they made the screen small, so it's very difficult to see what the hell's going on. But you know what? Glad Billy Dee's back. I wonder what's happening on Jordan. Maybe that's why C3PO holds Chewie's blaster. And Carrie Fisher. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. It feels like they're taking the scene from The Force Awakens, cutting it everywhere, uh, photoshopping whatever CGI around it, the location. And then you got the Death Star, yeah. Because they were releasing set photos during this panel at Star Wars Celebration. And I was like, that's Endor. That really seems like Endor. And then you got the Death Star at the end, you know... Pretty cool. They're actually continuing the Skywalker saga. Whether they do it properly in this movie itself, we won't know. But I'm hoping it's Revenge of the Sith style and it is a killer movie. I have my high hopes. Please don't let me down, Star Wars. Please don't let me down, Disney. Please don't let me down, JJ, Kathleen Kennedy, and Lucasfilm. Don't finish and destroy. Well, finish, but don't destroy what George Lucas started.